I have a coupon for the Goodwill and I need to use it because it expires soon. Simple sales for good profit. Good morning everyone. I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. Yes, I have a coupon for the Goodwill, 15% off. They've never given me a coupon before and we're going to go there today mainly because we have to return something. But I guess more importantly, we have a coupon to try to use before it expires. See if we can find something with that 15% off coupon. See if we can find something good because you know we got to make it worth our while. Yeah, let's find out. Oh my gosh, I just saw these at the restore. This might be a good way to test these because I didn't want to buy 17 of them the other day at restore. Although they do look like they've been through the dishwasher, don't they? They're pretty dirty. Uh, I don't know. I'm on bigger ticket items. Oh, what is that? That's odd. That doesn't go together. I just don't know what you're going to find. Oh, look at that cute cup. World Market. Nice little cows. See, it's a bigger ticket item, so I can't help but look at this cute stuff. Just made in China. I'm gonna leave those here. Little teapot with a bluebird looking into the bird's nest with a little bluebird. Isn't that cute? Looks like it's in pretty good shape. $4.99. That's a maybe. This is a vintage container, but look, it's in horrible, horrible condition. So I'll leave that behind. But people do buy those. And then Mark was looking at this uh, sand sculpture, which I was amazed that it was still intact until I found out it's solid. <laughs> We'll leave that behind. Mark, what do you have here? Pirates of the Caribbean Jack Sparrow is... Oh my uh, gosh, i got to back up to show you how tall he is. Wow. Probably 14, 14 inches tall. Inches. I think he should be holding something, but... Did you say there was something on the back? He's tops or something? Here's a, here's a bottle. A flask. A switch on the back. You're in my way, boy. The code is the law. Spoken sea tells me. Cool. Alright, we'll have to check this out. I mean, he's taller than any I'm finding, but we'll check it out. There's a nice size for a doll or a teddy bear or Christmas scene. It's just plastic. I don't know if it's on level or not. It'll be the shelf. $4.99. That seems to be the price of the day, $4.99. But it's a maybe. Wait, what's this? That's pretty. That could be for a wedding or Valentine's Day. $2.99. What is it made of? I think resin. I don't know. No, I think it's um ceramic. That's cool. Kitchen utensils. Looks hand painted. And it's $2.99. Kovac. Look that up. Check it out. What do we have over here? A lot of odds and ends. Go a little slower this time. I know I tend to go too fast. It's because I can eliminate things really fast. Looks like one of the uh, wise men missing his friends, his other wise men. Slider. Ooh, bad condition. Exciting, but we did find a few things so far. We're still looking, trying to use that coupon. It might end up being a day of smalls, though, as much as we like to buy higher priced items. I don't want the coupon to get a waste. Little aluminum ice cream bowls. Looks like there's four. See, there's no rhyme or reason where things are good.
check this out. See if there's anything new. Plastic. Plastic. It's a nice dish. Mm, no brand. It's heavy. Butter. Mainstays, Walmart. Not Mart. Oh gosh. Look at the inside of that. If you can see, it's horrible. I saw this the other day, this enamel bowl. $14.99 originally. Oh, plastic. This is a um, basket weave pattern, Indiana glass. You want $2.99. It's only going for about 10 or so, so I'm going to pass. It's a carnival glass. Mark found something here. Tell me about this. Actually, I think we have a piece like it at home. It looks like the uh, butter dish that we have. It's occupied Japan. It's the teapot. This little house, I think, could be used for like tea bags or sugar cubes, sugar maybe. Cubes. Anybody use the sugar cubes anymore? Yeah, you know, we got our 15% off today, so I'm in if that's what you'd like to get. And it's in really good condition. Tiny little flea bite, flea bite you right know, there. that happens. Add it to the cart. Looking at the uh, teapot, a lady came along and told us there was this wedding basket over on a shelf that has like a porcelain bottom. And so it's part aluminum and part this, uh, as we said, porcelain or ceramic. Very unusual. Any markings on the bottom? Product of Barber and Sheldon. I think it's pretty. Brooklyn, New York. If it really is considered a wedding basket, it's kind of cool. Checked eBay comps and the highest it's going for is $10 plus shipping. Plus there's a lot of it on eBay. So let's leave it for someone else for the bride to be. Just checking these dishes out. Barberware. Um, well, I'm, I'm ready to look it up. These are saucers and little bread plates, and the only ones that have sold is dinner plates or a complete set, so I'm going to pass. Oh, well, there's two coffee cups, and first trying to figure it out, says so HLC, then I realized it was Homer Laughlin. USA makes them vintage. There's two for what? On yours. Uh, I'm not getting your stuff, I just want we'll to look right here in the corner. Homer Laughlin, I've heard of him. We were about to leave and I decided to walk over here in the furniture area and I found this KitchenAid ice cream, does it say ice cream, ice cream maker attachment. We just looked it up and the only thing it's missing maybe is a spatula. I mean, it does need clean, but otherwise it's, it's what, $10 for $10 minus or 15% and they're selling for $40 to $60. So it's kind of hard not to pick it up. Yeah, it it's does have scratches, but that's not unusual, not at all. So. I think I'm going to get it. Using the coupon, we spent about $48, and I know we have at least one item that should sell for at least $48 by itself. Keep watching. I'll show you what we found at the Goodwill. If you're enjoying this video, I appreciate a thumbs up. Let's continue. Yeah. 
I picked these up before these dairy bags, and so I'm gonna get this bunch today. Look what I just found. I just said if we found more of these. What kind of price you put on these? $3.99. I need to get these into the cart. Look at this. What's that? It's a pretty piece of glass. It's hard glass. Is it heavy? Very. It's like a little planter. What's that? It says... Let me try to zoom in. Fire and light. Fire and light. And how much is it? $2.99. Okay, check that I out. I think we'll have to check this out. It sounds like something, if I recall that name. But yeah, check it out. This set of eight is $4.99, and these are corning. But they're not selling for a whole lot. I mean, two sold for $4.99, so I'm going to pass. These little bowls, can I tell you about plain white bowls? These are $3.99. It's Homer Laughlin, and they're worth about $5 each on eBay. Wish I could find more, though. These dishes are Arco Rock, made in USA, and this is the Canterbury crocus pattern. I don't know if you can see it there. And even though there's a lot here, 27 pieces for $10, which doesn't seem too bad, they're only worth about $2 each, sometimes three. And so I think I'm going to pass on that. Check these coffee cups out. They're really different. It's $3.99 for the three. Oh, why is it always odd numbers? It says Francoma USA. But I'll check it out and show you what I found. I decided to put those back. They're only worth about $5 each, and they're $4 for three. Eh, $15, so I'm gonna leave it there. What's that? A lot of stuff here today, though. A lot of stuff. these out. There's three of them. I don't think they're Fosteria. I can't find them fast enough, so I'm just going to leave them here. I'll check these out. I have active listings, but no sold. jar. This is Portugal. Can't find anything like it, so I'm going to leave it behind. No comps. Cheeky toss game. It's like something from Hawaii. Does it have a barcode? Yeah, it has a barcode here. I'll check that. One sold for less than 15, and there's about six listed, anywhere from 20 to 30. I'm at five dollars for it. Of course, there are more sold. I think I'm going to pass on that. Bottle. Shame thing. Sign of the day: Love more, worry less. I like that. couple of glasses here that are signed and very hard to read. A set of two, $1.99, pretty cool shape. And I tried a couple of things. I tried um, Google Images, and I think we're gonna pick these up. This is Imperial Glass, and it has kind of a frosted finish with a sunflower design. We're gonna check it out every good, because I do want $7.99, so we have to check it out really well. Anyone need a baby buggy? I mean, that's pretty cool, wouldn't you say? I wonder what kind of price they put on that. <laughs> I wouldn't buy it, but I'm just curious. Pretty cool.
So we're in the Goodwill and Mark and I are looking up comps and researching some glasses that we were checking out. And this lady comes up to us and I moved my cart a little bit so she could, you know, move up a little bit behind us. And she says, are you moving yet? Came around that way, you were there. It came around this way and you were there. Are you moving yet? I'm like, uh, we're still looking. I guess there's a five minute parking limit in Goodwill now. I don't know, you see everything these days. Next time, I'll hold my own. I'll say, no, we're not done yet. We're still looking. I did tell her we were still looking, but that wasn't good enough. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. I'll see you soon. Simple sales for good profit.